now i am going to tell you how to update the progress by using different percentage complete type methods so uh, uh, as we are going to update the first progress so i am going to copy the you know, copy of uh, this baseline project follow the same steps as we have done earlier for copying the plan after the successful um, um, copying the plan i am going to rename it as a first update and i am going to mention here the date as well suppose i am um, updating after 20 20 days so i am going to change as a 20th may for my reference so that i can uh, be familiar that what uh, up to which time i have updated this progress so uh, i have a suggestion for you that when you will update the next project next uh, uh, progress update up to 30th may then you have to make a copy of this plan and then make it another uh, copy so that you should have a record of all the previous uh, progress updates so right now i am going to open this project and all the activities will open now we are going to update the progress so uh, you must uh, set this uh, uh, and enable the activity details option if this is not open you have to select this uh, uh, details option um, select the first select the activity and then you have to go to the status tab and click the started and uh, uh, change the date from here we are assuming that our project is started on the first may as it was planned so i am going to select as it is no need to change and you can see that once uh, i uh, selected the uh, started as, as uh, started status then it finished is automatically checked because this is a zero duration based uh, milestone so it will automatically finish that activity on the same day so now i'm going to the first activity that is a kick off meeting uh, select that activity then select the status as started and uh, assume that on it is started on the same day so i am going to finish it as well that it is finished on the same day as well so you can see here that a appears with the date it means that actual started and if in the you in the scene the column of finish you can say a also appeared it means that it is actually finished as well then coming to the next activity that is the basic engineering now we are assuming that basic engineering started two days uh, after the uh, after the plan start so i am going to select status as started then I will select the date. I am going to uh, assume that it is started on the 3rd May. So I selected this date. Then I will go to the resources and here I will enter the progress. Uh, for entering the progress units based, we, we have two options. Either you can enter the actual units or either you can um, add the column, uh, add the column um, by doing right click and uh, get this unit percentage complete column on the right side and you can enter the progress here suppose i am uh, suppose i am entering the progress of this activity as a 95 percent so it will automatically calculate as earned units earned units means actual units or either i can either i can say that if i enter the 30 uh, now it is showing the 95 percent of each activity resources if i go to the status tab then you can see also here that uh, this activity is 95 percentage complete here the other thing you have to do is then go to the status tab and you have to give the remaining duration of this activity and uh, suppose 95% uh, of this activity is completed and 5% you think that it will take uh, three more days so i am putting here three days so this actual uh, this actual duration field is uh, showing zero because i have not uh, updated the schedule where i have to reschedule the project then this date will start appearing click this uh, uh, icon or either press the f9 then you have to change the date from here i am going to assume that uh, this uh, project is you know, i am being scheduled on the 20th of may then i will put schedule and uh, the, you can see that this data date has been shifted from here to here and you can see this blue line it means that this activity is progressed and uh, red color showing that it is pending so uh, when you if you see that uh, 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 actual duration actual duration as uh, 11 because it is calculated from the start day of the activity to the uh, scheduled date of the activity so uh, you can see that i have put the remaining duration here as a 3 so 11 plus 3 is equal to 14 so it means that your activity uh, this activity is expected to complete it on the 14th of the um, 14th day according to the current progress 
this uh, remaining duration you can get from the site management as well or you can have if you have an experience that uh, how much uh, this time will take to complete the balance activity you can change now coming to the next wbs of architectural engineering uh, I selected uh, you know, the activity one by one and change it started date from here and then going to the resources tab I am entering the so I can also add some columns to see how much progress we have entered so just right click go to the columns option Now you can see that uh, what progress we have entered in activity wise you can sh uh, see from here as well 10% 10% 5% but here you can also see that uh, some of the uh, uh, progress is being rolled up at the top this progress is calculated on the basis of uh, labor units and actual labor units which we have earned so I'm going to right click here and go to the columns option and I will go to the uh, units field and here I can show you the how it is calculated so i um, did uh, budgeted labor units on the right side and actual labor units on the right side so uh, you can see from here that uh, how much uh, uh, our labor units has been achieved 74 and if you divide 74 divided by the total plan then you will get 6.8 so in this way you can see the progress of each activity uh, for uh, labor units wise or uh, you can see the top level progress of the wbs from here as well and if you go at the top you can also see that how much units you have achieved here so 218 divided by this you will get the labor units 1.25 percentage complete here you can see that this progress is a little bit different from this one as units uh, consist of labor units as well as the non labor units so if uh, we are going to consider the, our progress on the basis of man hours based so i am going to consider this one as a labor units com percentage complete so uh, i am going to remove this uh, column I was just uh, uh, showing this column so that you can get clarification what is the difference why it is the difference in both activities you know that in some of the activities we have entered the labor units as well as the non-labor units that that's why it was coming different